imported anti-UV light lenses, and while free one, anti-UV light, anti-UV rays, relief ice fatigue.
is brought to you by Hungry Jacks and Bunnings Trade. The Ducks have been rolling in thick and fast over the season so far, and we hope we get a few more of them in the month of February because it's Dunkuary on behalf of Sportsbet. For every dunk in the month of February, we are donating $500 to Australian prostate cancer. That's $500 for every single dunk. I reckon there's going to be plenty of them if the players know that we're giving this money away to a good cause. And not just charity, there's also going to be a chance in March, Melbourne United take on the Brisbane Bullets, and one lucky fan is going to have the chance to shoot out for whatever we make for charity, we're going to match it and one fan is going to shoot from half court to try to win that cash all for themselves as well so let's hope we get plenty of dunks this february enjoy and gamble responsibly Sixers with the task of stopping them and getting their own run to the final started. Hello and welcome to the Adelaide Entertainment Centre, wherever you're watching. Great to have your company and great to have the company of MVP, Corey Homicide, Williams and Melbourne United Championship winner, Peter Hurley. Welcome, guys. Welcome, thanks, Dwayne. This is going to be a huge game. Sydney Kings are every bit the real deal. The Sydney Kings fans should be very excited with what's happening. They're led by superstars. Their role players are starring in their roles. You bring Ian Clark in, I'm expecting a little bit more from him, but they are so exciting to watch. Huge game for the Kings. Let's have a look at their uh, DoorDash starting five. The Sydney Kings get 30% off your first three orders. Use the code 3 Potter. Corey, who do you like most, or is it hard to pick one? I like that man on the screen right there. And if you were not excited for this game, that pregame show reel of this, the highlights of the depth of this team, they are the real deal. And that man on the screen right there is a big reason why. In his last four games, 19.7, eight assists, and six rebounds. This is the guy right there. Adelaide 36 is starting five as well, Pete, and they've got some weapons as well. Well, they do. They, they've just struggled to fire all at the same time, but you look at their starting five, their whole team list, it's going to come down to this man right here, Sunday Detch. He's going to have the assignment on Jalen Adams to start. Mitch McCarron will get sprinkled in, do for my other guys. You've got to try and slow him down. Jalen Adams is going to be a tough task no matter who goes after him. But Sunday Detch had a really good game on the offensive end against the Illawarra Hawks. 18 points, five of eight from deep. But again, he can't put too much energy into that end because it's going to take a lot of energy for him on the defensive end. It's going to have to be a thing by committee. A little bit of pressure on CJ Bruton to get this run going for the 36ers. And it wouldn't be a game in Adelaide without the great John Casey with us. A short time ago, John caught up with CJ. Well, on Friday night in Wollongong, Adelaide went down 19 in the second quarter, fought back to get on level terms in the third and back to within three in the last quarter. Coach CJ Bruton, these slow starts are really making it difficult for you. It definitely is, Case. Um, we need a find a way to come out the blocks and uh, get going. I think having those two weeks, as I said last week, I think, um, you know, not 
not playing as many games, trying to find our feet and coming out the blocks uh, early is key and is crucial in some of these games. So we need to find a way. You slowed down Tyler Harvey on Friday night. What have you got in store for Jalen Adams? Well, he's another fast, uh, difficult young man to stop. Um, we, ain't, we ain't got no tape to put on the floor, but uh, definitely Sunday and Macca will have their work cut out for them tonight. And it's going to be a team effort, as always. If you're going to shut down a player like that, it comes about the team, not about the individual. Appreciate your time. Good luck. Thank you very much. CJ Bruton hoping that his team can get a run going and final still an option. Now, Kmart ball kid for the game today is Travis. Congratulations to you, Travis. What a moment for Travis and the family here at what is a pretty packed Adelaide Entertainment Centre for this one. Good to see the fans in the house. 99th beating between these two teams. 36 is 55. Kings 43 in the first time they've met this season. So we're underway. Kings with first use of it. On a four-game win streak. Cooks. Adams feeds it out. Vasilovic. Gonna put it up. Throws it back out. You're gonna have to put it up now. And did he get it away in time? Did he get that off? He, he sure did. All right. That's pretty good defense. But 23.9 seconds off the clock for Adelaide 36 is drum on. Making it a tough one. Johnson. Take some time, back out. Withers, all right then. 36 is up and about early. Good start for Withers and the 36ers. Called them out two games ago. I think they do need more from Top Withers consistently because the games where not only does he doesn't score, but doesn't take too many shots, he just kind of gets lost in the entire game. We don't see a whole lot of him on either end. I'll be honest with you, I think they just need to run more plays for him. That's getting me at 13 points. Pocket pick. Deck straight down the other end, and able to get in. See what they're doing on the defense, man. They're really trying to clock play. Everybody's helping each other. Their body is their position. Trying to really not show any openings for anyone. As Jalen Adams, a little step back. Yeah, everybody's helping. They're switching on when, when it's needed. It's a good little start. Yep. Karen hands it out. Johnson takes it in, in style. Great start for the 36ers. Getting stops, getting runouts. Easy buckets. Kings fifth on the ladder right now. Slowly working their way up. The Hungry Jacks NBL 22 ladder. They'll be third if they win this one. Martin draws the foul. A little elbow out is the claim, but ref will have none of it and the foul on with us. I think Jack Root mentioned with John Casey how important the starts are going to be and against any other team they'd be important but especially against the Kings because in eight of the last nine games the Kings have led by seven or more at quarter time and since round eight their aggregate they're plus 64 in the first quarter the Kings the next closest team are the Phoenix are just plus 13 and then you go to the other end of the spectrum and the Bullets are the worst in first quarters Minus 31 aggregate since round eight, and then the Wildcats at minus 26. So can't afford to get off to a slow start when you're playing the Sydney Kings. Crowd giving Mitch McCarran silence at the moment. Takes it down the floor. Good to see so many in the stands for some Sunday hoops. We'll feed in. Bearstow back out with us. A rebound. Pulled down by Cooks. Wants to take it down the floor in a hurry. Went coast to coast, couldn't finish it off. McCarran pulls it back down with a big round of applause. Early momentum is going to be massive. As Peter Hooley told you. That rimmed out. Adams. Hands foul. Caught on Sunday Ditch. Good take there from Jared Adams. And spoke about their depth. Everybody now is going to chime in, and Ian Clark can expect to get some more minutes in this game. And that last game against Perth, what an exciting one that was. The Jared Adams versus Bryce Cotton show. 65 points between the import trio for the Sydney Kings. And then, talk about that game against the Hawks, the Adelaide 36ers. They just had 72 points as an entire team. 
It's a promising start, but just three minutes into it, they've got to sustain this for the entire game. There's Robin Corey, sitting third overall. Instrumental in that four game win streak. I just think he was playing pretty good, but ever since that win against Brisbane and that dunk, his game has elevated to heights. Carroll. Yeah, it's going to have to get it up. Crowd telling him. Two left. Big arc on it. Cooks quickly down the floor this time again. And back into the hole nicely. Swipe the bullet. That shouldn't happen. I know it's a long rebound, but somebody's got to be back. Multiple guys potentially against the Sydney Kings. They like to play fast. It's good out of their path. Someone's going to have to stop that earlier. There's Finds his range early. Paris, though, this season has been their best player, their shining star at both ends. Vasilovic can fill it up from deep, wants to go inside off the glass, didn't work for him. Johnson pulls down the rebound, and he tries to go coast to coast, but no success. McCarran gives them a second go at it. Withers from outside the arc. Good find again. Good offensive rebound by. Karen, a monster as a guard on the boards. You don't box out, he's going to snatch it up, finds his open shooter. Two or three early in this one. Second chance points, Tom Withers. Shoots 37% from outside, so I like that he's already taken three. Step into it. On an offensive rebound, it's the best time to get it up. He's I mean, feeling good. I mean, as an import, your job is to come in. You're, you're, you're higher gun. Season high 31 threes, and it was their worst field goal percentage of the season 32 percent. Already taken six threes, knocked down half of those. Bruce on the floor, Adams first game ever in Adelaide against Adelaide for Jalen Adams. Yeah, getting the feel for it. McCarran. Back out, Ditch. And a wobble to tie it down eventually. Ditch has become a reliable three point shooter. He's worked so much in the offseason and it's paying off. It's good to see that. We highlighted it a few weeks ago. Look at that with Brett Barr shooting the ball in the offseason. And that man knows how to shoot the ball as well. Jalen Adams. Time to work out one of the greats to see it pay off. Well, he's Sunday Detch enjoying himself, but Brett Maher would be enjoying himself seeing that as well. With us. Got away from Adams. Rimmed out, DJ, right spot, and got hammered on the way back by Cooks. And we'll go to the line. John Casey downstairs. Thanks, Wayne. I was just listening in with C.J. Bruton during that timeout, and you'll notice today that he is flying solo. Jamie Perlman, his assistant coach, was unable to be with the team on Friday night and again here today. Unfortunately, his wife, Tracy, her mother, passed away in the last week. So we send our thoughts and condolences to Jamie Perlman, his wife, Tracy, and their family. But just some added pressure as well for C.J. Bruton here in this one as Ian Clark checks into the game for his first minutes. 
That's that story, John. I know just that Ken Cole was giving Dusty Hannes a little bit of a rev up before the game, so he's getting yeah. some assistance from one of the old greats. I mean, it's great to know that you have support. Because when a player's struggling, support is important. I think they were having a little potential proof, potentially. There was a foul there, and they were saying someone grabbed the net. So I think they were just going to have a look at exactly who it was. Because if it's Xavier, or well, Xavier Cooks, who was doing it and then committing the foul, mm. would have been a goaltending. No, it really doesn't have a whole lot of impact on the play. That's the rule. But I had a look at it, and it was Daniel Johnson who was touching the net. So there you go. That's the explanation. Just two shots here. Give him absolute silence, and he's normally pretty good from the free throw line as well. Daniel Johnson This is the first. Second drops with these. Angus Glover on the floor. Chase Buford, Kevin Lish. Speaking of all time greats in the house, helping out. Sean Bruce, Adams. Well, step aside, three rolls it way down. And I don't understand why they're playing off that. The hottest play in the league at the moment. Two of two from three. Eight points in the first quarter. McCarron. With us. Under some pressure. Soto. Back to McCarron. He might have to put it up. Five left. Gives us some thought. Long range two. Daniel Johnson again. Gives them a second chance at it. Sunday Jetch from a metre outside. Sunday too far away. And it's still a 36 ball. And Mitch McCarran has a laugh. Maybe it's not. Well, Sydney Kings, but good energy. On the offensive glass, trying to get some extra possessions. That's all they're going to have to do. Dusty Hannah's into the ball game. Glover. Mix it up. Sean Bruce passed up the opportunity at it. He floated one in in the end. Tough take. As he said, he Russ turns down that three. He hesitated, but he gets a nice mid range to go. McCarran. And Passato. More foul on the bucket. Daniel Johnson wreaking havoc under the bucket at the moment. Really good activity underneath. Our DJ didn't have a good one last game, but as we see on the screen, the OG. And why would you not listen to a championship winning experienced coach? That's what you want to hear, just give me some tips before the game. That's a very nice jacket, too. You obviously, you were in that can, jacket. Ken Cole got some swag. Wild <laughs> well, horses all over it. The man that he had a word to, Dusty Hannes, fills it up on cue as if he knows we're talking about it. Maybe that's what he's saying. So if you've got a couple of shots, you can have this jacket, too. We'll give it to you straight after the game. <laughs> No getting another one. I reckon it's one of a kind. Adams. Oh, wow. I mean, this is the hardest thing right now. Guy who loves to penetrate and get to the rack. He's now hitting. He's three of three from the land of plenty. Now you got to pressure him. And that feeds into exactly what he wants to do. Turns it over and they may have. No, they haven't still a king's ball. But it's all tied up at 19 apiece after the 36ers. Threatened to push this out to a double figure lead. Well, see Daniel Johnson just slowly retreating. What he's going to do is just take a couple steps further forward and funnel Jalen Adams towards Sunday Detch, who's on the other side. That's the only thing you keep that man dribbling. It's going to go up. It's three of three from outside. Make him do something else. Easier said than done. Definitely easier said than done. <laughs> Glover, part of the seas, high up the glass. Didn't finish. Hannes. Sure, what that was, it wasn't an anti oop, that's for sure. It wasn't that's a pass either. Well, it was a pass. Daniel Johnson was, was pointing, he throw a bit high. He got smaller than Jalen Adams on. And Dusty Adams may as well have rolled it at Daniel Johnson's ankles. Just got to launch that up there. Got a big fellow against the point guard. Dusty Hannes with the inbound. Gets it back. And no basket fouls caught on Ian Clark. Getting some court time. We're going to see a lot of Ian Clark in the closing stages of this season. Late edition. Won an NBA championship with Golden State. Playing with some of the all-time greats. 
Not 4,000 in this game the other night. Again, we see it so often. Imports coming into the NBL. It takes a while to adjust to the way it's officiated. Right, here we go. That man hasn't played in two years. Had 15 points in 19 minutes. Oh, he's, he's a bucket. <laughs> Hannah's tough floater. Rebounds big. Kings get it. Straight down the floor. Go for some thought. Clark. And sort of finding his range as well. Withers. McCarran. Looks inside. Nothing there. Back to Withers. Wow, Airball was not shy. I spoke about it. wanting to get him up. Maybe that one just got away for a better look. You know I'm okay with him taking that shot. Where else is the offense coming from on the court for them? I would rather him be aggressive than passive. Well, especially with Dan Goss now, we know that he's been the focal point trying to throw the ball into him. CJ Bruton, we've seen that lead. Walked away. He's about to address his voice. But that doesn't mean you throw a 50-50 pass and throw the ball away. We ain't here to give up two or three turnovers, fellas. And every possession counts. They want to play small ball, they got Kai, they got you. You're down at the front of the rim. You go right here, right? There, he can lift up. He can be the reversal. You step over and power. And keep the game simple, fellas. Look after the basketball, push it. Guard the guard screen. Hey, they coming down the floor. They want to put us in pick and roll. Right now, Jalen's hit a few. Get over the screen. But again, it's the guard to guard. It's a hustle. If you get screen, sit it over the stairs. Be ready to help on the bush. I love that message from CJ Bruton. Keep things simple. And we talked a little bit about the Jalen Adams matchup. Who's going to try and quiet, keep him quiet? Keep an eye on the Cam Best over Xavier Cooks just on the rebounding. Xavier Cooks has the ability to pull rebounds from everywhere with his length and athleticism. Whereas Cam Best, though, is just so fundamental. He uses his body so better than nearly anybody in the league of finding the, that contact first, just giving a little nudge out the way, and that ball just falls into his hands. It's going to be one to watch on the glass. We saw that Friday night in Illawarra. He had 12, and he had eight offensive rebounds in that game. We've already seen it a couple times here, just pushing someone underneath the basket and getting them out of the way. Just a veteran, smart to use his body. Withers, danced it in. Had the assistance of Soto, second tallest player in the NBL this season. Kai Soto, how do you want it? Right hand, left hand, little floater in the middle of the lane. Starting to grow with some confidence, Kai Soto. Wally Bales on the floor. Moving his way past a couple. Cooks left it behind. McCarran. Quickly down the floor, he's got Hannes, he's got Besto, and he had almost too many options. Besto fouled on his way to the hoop, disappointed he didn't get the two. But we'll go to the line for a couple. I like that from the Adelaide 36s. When, when you get a turnover, of course a turnover. Here's the Kaisato with the right hand. That was a nice little touch, but push it down the other end. Mitch McCarron pushing the ball. That's all you have to do. Sydney Kings like to play quick. And a lot of teams just say, okay, we're going to slow it down and get through sets. But as you mentioned, Corey, we haven't seen a whole lot of success in the half court from the 36s offensively. So if you get the chance to push it, everybody run, good things will happen. Bit of, bit of talk about whether Kaisato does deserve more minutes. Been getting better with each game. 218 centimetres worth. Superstar from the Philippines. Two-year deal with the 36ers. And he could be a critical player in the second half of this season. As the 36ers try to stay in the finals race. Glover saved the day there. Back to Clark. Long range two to find his range. Didn't get lucky with the bounce. McCarran. No Jalen Adams on the floor. Trying to really pack it in. Soto went down. Jan Vasilievich looked a little guilty in the general area. Besto mops it up. Doesn't finish it off. Yeah, that's exactly what I was speaking about, Cam Besto. Xavier Cooks is in there. Just a little nudge at the right time. Cooks can't get the board. There's a little tangle between Vasilievich and Kai Soto. Hello, boys. About getting him up there and say, Oh, the, gap, the play's still on. So, if he just throws him out the way, because I tell you what, if you get him up quick, he's going to repost on the other side. You've got to deal with it again. 53 seconds left in the opening quarter. There we go. So, 
Unsportsmanlike like foul. Coach. Cooks will go to the line and they'll get possession. They're just rewinding the tape to try and double check what happened. In the meantime, it's got courtside John Casey. Dwayne, good contrast here at the moment between the coaches and playing this game of chess where Adelaide have got Soto, Besto with us all out there at the moment with their bigs. And Eric, uh, Eric Cooks basically, or Xavier Cooks, I should say, basically playing the five spot for the small ball Sydney Kings lineup. So good contrast. Both try to assert their authority the way they want to play. It's an unsportsmanlike foul because I thought when Xavier Cooks went to take, which he does when he does get a rebound, takes off with it. I thought I was out of position and just kind of grabbed his arm. Wasn't a whole lot in it, but letter of the law, he was trying to slow down the break in frustration and unsportsmanlike foul. Clark trying to weave his way through them. Vasilovic. And Dusty Hannes called for that. An up and down season for Dusty Hannes. He can fire and land them from long range in a short period of time and accumulate, but he can also go a little cold for a while. An interesting season for him. Going back to what Case was saying, with the Xavier Cooks playing the five, they're playing small ball. Yes, Case Buford. I've been just trying to juggle things around as well, seeing where they can have success, and so often when a team goes small, Makes the opposition coach, or in this case, CJ Bruton, think, do I have to match that or am I going to go with what works well for us, which is our normal rotation? So we'll keep an eye on that one. It's always a little bit of a chess game. Vasilovic is 84% from the free throw line. No surprise. Puts both in. And it's all tied up. 23 apiece. Crowd's been silenced a bit. They were up by nine. Best, though. Looks around. Two for one option here for the 36ers. They should get it back if Besto gets it in now, and he does. You can see a couple of second differential shot clock, game clock. Tough one on one take by Besto. Now milk it down. Again, the Kings been dominating first quarters this season. They've led in eight of their last nine. Chance to take the lead with a three. Don't. One last roll of the dice for Dusty Hannes from long range. Used every second, flutter on the run, doesn't go. But they still lead the home team, hoping to make their own run for the playoffs. 25-23, good crowd, Adelaide Entertainment Centre for some Sunday hoops. Great to have your company.
fantastic history between these two teams. This is their 99th meeting. Adelaide's won the majority of them, 55 to the Kings, 43. And that's what's critical in the context of the Hungry Jacks NBL 22 season. And the 36ers with a two-point lead at quarter time at home at the Adelaide Entertainment Centre. The winner of today's $50 Kmart gift card is Christy Delaney. Elias' first Christmas with very first basketball jersey. And congratulations to you as well. Winner of our Kmart gift card. Part of the Kmart fan cam today. Second quarter underway. Best though. Johnson, Dufelmeyer on the floor now to start the second quarter for the 36ers. Into DJ, found a gap and got the foul, which he loves to do. Well, it was a really good first quarter for the 36ers. They had eight assists on nine made field goals. So the ball's getting through hands. They're not trying to force anything. And they're leading the rebound count 11 to 5. They've got three offensive rebounds to the King Zero. So very promising start. Good first 10 minutes. When this game looked like it was going to open up a little bit early, Jalen Adams got going. Three of three from the land of plenty. 11 points in seven minutes. Kings are shooting 75% from three. Oral Adams, 43% from the field. Newly tinkered with roster for the Sydney Kings. Fifth right now. Nine wins, seven losses, but they can climb to third with a win in this. With their fifth win in a row, if they can get it. Cook's tough basket, and he knew it as well, the way he danced backwards. Great both, offensive both set. Both those guys are going at it. Exactly. Bearstow's going to attack me on one end, give me the ball, and give me an opportunity to, to attack him. That's exactly what you have to do. Is put Xavier Cook's in a position to be successful. It's the high post. We speak about it all the time. He's going to back himself off the dribble against Daniel Johnson from the high post. This is another thing we spoke about, Chase Buford, as talented as they are and how they're rolling. It's got a bit of a juggling act to do, but right here, put the ball on the floor. Daniel Johnson, it's going to be a tough cover. But Sean Bruce, he's going to come in and get guys involved, get guys some shots. Angus Glover, he's been a spark off the bench. Vasilievich, still get him involved. Bales is healthy now. And then you've got Adams, you've got Ian Clark. So a little bit of a juggling act still to work out. And they usually struggle in the second quarter, so let's keep an eye on Sydney Kings. What do they do today in this second quarter? Sunday Jets lets it fly. Besto tangles up with Martin under the bucket. What he does best, eat the glass. Jermaine doesn't like it, but you hear the referee saying, before the shot goes up, you're already grabbing him. And that's because Cam Besto does his work so early. He just starts pushing you in slowly, push, keep an eye on Cam Besto. The shot's going up, and there's the hook. I'm not sure what Jermaine's talking about. Because as soon as that ball goes to Sunday Dench, Cam Besto starts to nudge you underneath, nudge you underneath, where you start worrying you're out of position. And here he is again on cue. Couldn't finish that. Didn't get the foul. Great block by Martin. Well, behind. Bales back out. Vasilovic lets it fly. And it rattled its way up. Dufelmeyer for the 36ers. DJ from outside. Yeah, baby. Johnson spot, triple team, Dufel Meyer nearly tripped as he tried to make his way to the hoop. Besto, five the shot clock, little fake, draws the foul and will go to the line again. What I like about Adelaide right now is they're getting the ball to the right people at the right time. Don't take a contested shot, swing the ball, the ball is going to find the open man. High percentage plays. He gets fouled, he goes to the line for two. Good time out here. Again, chase me with drum on. Canvas is fading away. No need to fall forward and have a slap in the hand. There's just no need to do that because it's too important to the team. Canvas though causing all sorts of issues. Chase Spearford having a chat to Daniel Kickett, Kevin Lish. And he's about to address his Kings who have to be eight down, nine down. Tied it up. Now down by five again. 
there's a play right here. We're going angle pop slash. Rel, you come get J.A. Pop it, slots, early slash. Rel, if you don't like the three, might be there. Take it on a DHO to DJ. DJ got freedom of back door. All right, fellas, every time we get it out, make or miss, let's start running more. Make them play at our pace. Let's get up and down a little bit more. Make them play at our tempo. Okay, here we go. Defense on three. One, two, three. Defense. We'll chase people there. Echoing what we were saying in the first 10 minutes is they like to play fast. Whether to make or miss, get the ball in. That's the beauty of having that lineup when they do go small, even with Jarrell Martin. One through five can get the ball off the rebound and just push it down the other end. And again, if they start doing that, Adelaide 36 is trying to do it back. Can they sustain that for a whole game? That's what they've got to try and focus on. The drug line's just got to stay out of foul trouble. He's picked up another one there. Jalen Adams back into the game at 11 points. Corey, you mentioned in seven and a half minutes. We didn't see him for a while. They're still at the line. But they look in his eye. Yeah. That well short. What? I thought perhaps Jalen Adams only played the seven and a half minutes in the first quarter. Might have started this second quarter. Just the way the last minute or so went in the first. Let's see how they execute the play that Trace Buford drew up in that timeout. The best time misses both. A dodgeable there. The Kings. Martin. Didn't have Vasilovic. Back to Adams. Been landing them from long range. Stared down by Daniel Johnson. This time, back out. Vasilovic blocked. Put up from the Kmart logo. Didn't get anywhere near it. Sunday Dench. Bairstow. Daniel Johnson feeds it in. Sprightly at the moment, the 36 is now. Rims out from the head of top with us. Cooks. Beautiful reverse. Slipped his way past them. With just a half hesitation step. You know he gets it off the rebound. He one man fast break, and as you can see, clearly finish. Slash him again. Easy bucket. Best over the spin move delightful. Got the crowd on their feet. Oh, that was beautiful. Put him in a spin cycle. Great one on one move. Best though. Travel. Good defense. With us, a really good on ball defender. A couple plays ago, he gets the block on Vasilovic, but Cooks, as you can see in transition, Bearstow puts Martin in the spin cycle. Good left hand finish. McCarran, the general, ex Melbourne United Championship winner. Sunday Ditch gets the screen, gets some space. Back to McCarran. Little up fake, didn't want the shot. Bairstow with five left. Tough fade away two. He's doing it all. Just keep going to the well. He's getting it done. Give him a pill play off of him. Over to you, Kings. Glover back out. Adams. Now Daniel Johnson fouled him on the floor. And, a, and for me on the other end, if I'm the Kings, I'm going to get the ball through hands and then just go pick and roll and put DJ on Adams. Something great is going to come out of that, just like something great is coming out of this matchup. Just get a ball to bear stuff. Mr. Fundamental on the NBL. Never going to be too explosive, never going to be too much. You want to go back to it, he's going to take a breather right now, Corey. Just trying to get his Man. win. Adams stepped it in. Up fake and floats it in. Shows his class. Adelaide switching everything. I'm just putting Adams in pick and roll and put a big on it. One five. They can't stop him. Ditch gets it back. Passado on the floor now. Daniel Johnson pocket pick. And straight back down the other the foul to go with it and the extra. So rubbing salt into the wound there. They turn it over at one end, concede the bucket out the other the king's a chance to make this a two-point game normally when you get a fast break opportunity you want somebody else to pick you up so Jalen Adams you'd, you'd say wait till somebody comes to stop you but again he just throws it to the man who's ahead good finish for a contact that's the way the kings play Michael Abulli 72% from the free throw line 
Okay, well, can you go back to set the foul? In any other game, that's a foul. He didn't touch him. That actually wasn't him. <laughs> <laughs> no, he I just fell. Strong, but you didn't touch him, you hit him. You hit him. <laughs> so... I think he did get the warning there, CJ Britton, but most coaches like to use their warning some stage during every game. All right, here we go. Got it. Might as well use it. Got a challenge and a warning to go to in every Navy Jacks NBL 22 game. The challenge system has been great. McCarran, little off balance, still off balance, and fouled. And we'll go to the line, Mitch McCarran. Good one-on-one -on -one defense harassing him. Karen finds a way to get to the basket, create contact, and he goes to the line for two. Jalen Adams, a little overzealous. Right at the end. But he only knows how to play one way. Here's McCarran, just got four assists, a few rebounds. Just his second shot attempt, and it won't count because he got fouled. He's trying to still pick and choose when he wants to go on the offensive end. You know the Mitch McCarran I like? Cans, Mitch McCann. And that's what he needs to be on this team. 100%. And, you know, the last couple of years, he had to pull back for the greater good for Melbourne United because they were stacked all the way around. He can get that form consistently back to the Cans, Mitch McCann. Clark shows his class because this is a different team. He's spot on. There's Ian Clark getting on the scoreboard. Playing alongside Jalen Adams for a few minutes here. Carsotto, Mitch McCarran. Corey wants to be more of a scorer, less facilitator. We took the shot, Corey. Was hoping for a little off balance, though. Adams, crossover, inside, feeds it back out. Cooks gets in on Soto, draws the foul on Carsotto. He's such a tough cover. Well, he is, and he's so quick. He has that quickness like Sean Barron when he catches it he yeah. just it's so quick that first step and he's able he's so aggressive as soon as he catches it Kai Soto no man like there was nothing that you were at mercy you were at the offensive player's mercy well, that's just like Kai Soto will learn the more he spends in the league this is the, the first matchup between these two teams but you don't have to close the gap on Xavier Cooks when he gets it out there you, you know he's got a quick first step and he's athletic you want to make sure that he's trying to tempt him into shooting from outside the key don't close the gun, you only take one step around you. It's only 58% from the free throw line, Xavier Cook, so the crowd probably know the percentages. There's a chance for 100 Jack Burgers here. And they get them. To the crowd, now they hurt. So absolutely loving it. 300 Jack Burgers for everyone in SA. If you use the crowd rule, and what did they rule for their burgers there? Still a two point lead. Soto straight down the other end. Can't bank it in. Fix it out. Clark. Adams. Ran to a roadblock. Long range two. Doesn't get any longer than that, your two points. All you have to do is put the man in a pick and roll. A bucket is going to come out of it. If you're going to play drop like that, he's four four from the three. Johnson. Well, three of three, but yep. he's hit from the perimeter. McCowan to Daniel Johnson. Glover wearing it like a glove. And stripped him. Adams. From the corner, Sean Bruce had his moment. Couldn't land it. Ditch. McCowan to the corner. And Glover slapped that out, so I think it's still a 36 ball. Timeout's been called. 36 apiece. Knife edge game. Critical stage of the season for both these teams. Sydney Kings win. They're back inside the top four. 36ers win. They're back in the race for the finals. And with this man running the show, they have every chance to get their place today. Jalen Adams have, have come. With the goods early in this one. 15 points. Three of three from the three. Like this size, this mismatch. Bucket. Put the ball on the deck. Float up. Another.
the bucket. Here's the shot chart by Soda Stream. That was just such a, a nightmare to defend. He's going up against some elite defenders, but his ability to just simply get into a pick and roll, that's where he's killing them. And he will continue to kill them if they don't change up the way they defend them. Well, you said he's the best point guard in the NBL. I, mean, I say, I know. Well, I'll tell you what he is. He's the best player of a pick and roll in the NBL. This decision making, the slow to fast, the way that he sees the game unfold, he just reads the defense and play ahead. And he's so crafty. And a guy like this, he's so athletic and quick getting to the rack, finishing. You want to play off him. He's hitting you from the land of plenty. You're in trouble. Now, for someone else has to come along for the party for the Sydney Kings. The only one in double figures got 15 points, five to seven. Big three and a half minutes here for both teams. Mitch McCarran, Dusty Hannah's back on the floor. What could Dusty give them? Back out, Withers. All right now, back in town, back in front. Withers, three of six, three threes. On the afternoon, nine points in 12 minutes. Step back from Adams. Bam, right I told you. Back at you. Not I think. I know. Best point guard in the league. 18 points in 12 minutes. Four of four from three. Dusty Hannes. Dusty spring heels up from the top. Little flight of two. They got what they wanted. They wanted to switch with Adams versus Dusty Hannes. Hand off. Big rejection, Besto. Bruce. Glover can land them. Doesn't this time. Intensity's gone up in this one. 36 is now. They're going to have to match it. Mojave King getting some important court time. Dusty Hannes again. Besto there again. There he is. Mr. Fundamental. Okay, Besto just putting his body in the right position. Don't know if they wanted that switch. So Sean Bruce goes to set the screen. And a lot of the time we see teams do that guard to guard screens. They sometimes they slip it, sometimes they don't even set it just to cause a confusion between the defense. So Mitch McCarran and Dusty Hannes. If you want McCarran guarding Adams, just to stay locked in. And if there is a screen, you switch on contact. They go what they wanted. He knocked down a three ball. With us, catch his shoot, and another massive rebound pulled down. He's hurt himself, caught timeout. Oh, he's, he's gone. That's that's NBA in college. That's yeah. the best out there. He's, he's been in the NBA. <laughs> he's been in the NBA long enough to around the Australian basketball. Cannot do that. Cam, he, he should know that. Good hustle, and then <laughs> yeah, uh, cannot do that over here. Well, I tell you this, great effort. You know, we know what he's going to do. If you are defending him, you better face guard. Mm. Got that Mika Vakona energy. Mm. And rejected by Besta at the other end this time. Having one heck of a season. And another great game. Here he is with it in hand again to set it up. Ditch. Inside the last two minutes of the half. Besta, why not let it fly? Careful <laughs> this time. Little heat check. Vasilovic. And that high floater on the run doesn't drop for Clark. His take just rolled off the rim. Like then 10. Adelaide led by two a quarter time. They lead by two now. McCarran. Hannes. Takes on Adams. Likes his chances. Spins on him. Hangs in the air again. Dusty Hannes. A little bit take by Hannes. One and one. Not backing down from the challenge. Talked a lot about the Kings' fast start. Winning over their last nine first quarters. 36 is a chance to win both the first two quarters of this important game here at the Adelaide Entertainment Center. Hannes. Three of seven from the field in this first half. Six points. Two rebounds and one assist. He's looked good. Looked good this, this game. Can't just the patience. Let the game come to you. Runners out. 35% in the free throw line so far. This season, Jalen Adams. 
rattles out. Rare error. Crowd have already got home with Jack's burgers. Gee, that was well short. This is both. Crowd enjoying it. A double whammy of Hungry Jacks coming their way. Crowd back down the other end. Withers mops it up. And they're hot right now to 36s to finish this half. Well, their effort's been there. The energy's been there. 21 rebounds. Cooks foul on the finish. Right that hurts. Adelaide 36 has just had to put all their focus on Jalen Adams. Anytime there is a ball screen, he is making something happen. Great find, but again, it starts with him turning that corner, drawing all types of defense, lobs it up to the big fella. A nice finish. Goes to the line for three the hard way. Who missed both and gave Burgers last time puts this one in. 40 seconds and counting. So another two for one on offer for the 36ers to finish the half. Although Ditch lost it and to get it back. Sneaks away from Clark who hammers him. Johnson, Martin right with him. Has to hand it away and oh, it's not a foul. Huge stop. And the Kings will have the last say. They can tie it up here at half time. 45 42. Who's shot to take? Clark wants his chances. Cooks! Smashed on the way to the hoop and he'll go to the line. But again, it's such a bad option. It's 58% from there. Well, with this was hurt going down the other end because it took him forever to get back into play. We'll see him coming now. In the end, it's cool for the foul. Quick sub. That's his third foul. Straight to the rooms. Hopefully he's fine. Shake that off. 11 points. A couple of rebounds. Real good first half by Withers. It's been a really good first half overall for the 36ers. 11 assists. Into the free throw line as well. Xavier Cooks is struggling there himself. This is his third free throw. Kings overall, 10 of 15. Some points there. No credit the way the LA 36 have been defending as a team, besides Jared on Jared Adams, everyone else, they've done a pretty good job of. And that one was well short as well. So Gabe Burgers earlier on and missed another couple. Last say of the half. Dusty had us weaved his way past them and will go to the free throw line for a couple to finish the half. What a great take ability to recognize time on the clock and doesn't settle for just a heave in traffic. He just gets to the basket and gets fouled. Oh, he's playing with confidence. I love the way he's half, you know, yeah. probably of the season. No oh, doubt. The way where he took off from poor Sammy Cooks, if he wanted to block that, to make that contact with the body. So, good awareness, knowing you've got the longer Sammy Cooks behind you. From Little Rock from Texas Tech had a 10 day contract with the Memphis Grizzlies Father Gerald of Major League Baseball pitches with the, pitcher with the Dodgers that's from great stock one last chance on the fly can you believe it <laughs> well that's that about sums it up isn't it? you miss four free throws that don't come close but make that one they're going to have a look at it oh it's good Really good first half from the Adelaide 36ers. We're just going to be talking about a halftime worry about Jalen Adams. Look at the little baseball that pass. Baseball bullet. That is good. That is as pretty as it looks. Look at that pass. That is absolute money. Barely even hits the net. It goes through that perfectly. Cuts the 36ers lead to just two. John Casey. Thanks very much, Dwayne. I've got Daniel Johnson here with me. DJ, that's a tough way to close out the half. You played so well for them to drain a big three. Just takes the wind out of your sails a little bit. Yeah, man, it's a tough shot. Um, don't know how we got it off for one second, but it is what it is. You were up by as many as eight in the first quarter, six during the second. What's working for you so far? I think getting on the glass. Bear's been huge for us all year on that. He's doing it again tonight. Um, we're making some threes. And uh, defensively, we just got to tighten up on, on Adams, obviously.
Appreciate your time. Good luck, Hunter. Daniel Johnson, their halftime here, and it arrives with Adelaide having led for 90% of the first half. It's a two-point buffer, 47-45. Halftime from Adelaide. Stay with us here on the Hungry Jacks NBL. Two teams have been playing like their seasons on the line because it is a spot in the top four up for grabs for the Kings. And the 36 is then to get a streak out. Um, they've come into this game like, uh, a little tired, but they're looking to 
So far, so far, with a half still to come, Jalen Adams. Been a great month of dunkery so far, and up to 102,000, 51,000 for charity, 51,000 prize to win. You can head to the NBL website now for your chance to shoot for the jackpot at halftime on March 5th in Melbourne. Thanks to Dunkery for every dunk in an NBL game during the month of February. We're giving one. $100 up for grabs, 500 of it to Australian prostate cancer and the rest to the fan. Stick around, big half still to come. The 36ers season on the line, lead by two.
Adelaide Entertainment Centre. 36 is on top by two. Chase Buford, that's been an entertaining first half. How have you seen it? Yeah, uh, probably not our best defensive half of the performance. Too many easy drives, letting them get into the paint. Uh, and we got to do a better job on the boards in the second half. 27-17 is the rebound count Adelaide's way. You've gone small ball a lot. They've counted with their bigs. So are you going to make many adjustments? Well, they had to, at the end of that quarter, they adjusted to us and came small because we were going on them. You know, that's the bodies we have. We have the play we have. That's all we got tonight. So appreciate you talking about Second half about to get underway. 47-45, two-point lead for the 36ers. At quarter time, two-point lead now. Kings with first use of it. Jalen Adams, as the boys told you at half time, being the dominant force. 18 points in the opening half. Trying to get himself a look here. And for the alley oop start. How do you like it? Jarrell Martin. That's exactly what I highlighted at half time. The decision made, seeing the play unfold before, before it happens. Daniel Johnson was trying to get on the left side of the screen. Jalen Adams knew that, so he put his head down, made a move on Sunday Ditch to get to the right and threw it up to Jarrell Martin. Just sees things unfold, possession ahead. Just so hard to guard. Karen Besto had to go and retrieve it. Takes on Jarrell Martin, gets inside him, reversed him nicely by the big star for the 36ers, Cam Besto. Been excellent, Cam Besto, all season. Center court, the most consistent player by far for the Adelaide 36ers. Airball flutter from the hand of Cooks. Besto leading all scorers for the 36ers with 13. Johnson, Besto, McCarran. Johnson from the corner. Big rebound. Besto's been doing it all afternoon. Stripped this time. Vasilovic. Quaka Labulek, Cooks oh my having God, a man. big impact. First of all, you ought to see how Cooks runs the court. He ran the court like LeBron usually runs the court. Here's what I'm talking about. See Daniel Johnson in the middle of the floor. That's what happened in the possession before with Jalen Adams. Look, Daniel Johnson cheated. Jalen Adams read it and threw it up. And that's what, and you're right, Corey. All of the run, the Sydney Kings, that's the way they play. Xavier Cooks potentially would not have touched that ball. It's like the ball was still going with a head of steam. It's so hard to guard in transition because one through five, they all take off and run. And maybe Cooks leaving a whole lot of money on the line, on the field. Kings missed their last six free throws to end the first half. Three of eight. Xavier Cooks. McCarran, they need a bucket. Can't get it for them. All tied up, 49 apiece. Solace the crowd, a turnover though. Daniel Johnson, and pocket picked. Straight down the other end, Martin. Get her. Great, Easy layer. great hustle to get back into play and get a hand on the ball. Adams. And that's a very important basket by Martin. Because he has, on the offensive end, he's been non existent as DJ hits the three. Johnson into double figures now. Look at that blocking the instructions on the defensive end. And they only do. The end, do. Double the man. Double them. Well, it's getting close to box and one territory, you think, isn't it? Just double them. Get the ball out of his yeah, hands. That's it. Because again, we try and show the bodies his patience. We highlighted at halftime. He had to go from slow to quick so quickly. Good knock down there for Mitch McCarran to answer. On this end, they'd be a lot further in front if they could just limit Jail Adams. Here he is again. Hands it up. Stop. Fuck it. A bullet with a floater. Never even got close. McCarran. Done this a few times to 36ers. Johnson from way outside. Every time the Kings threaten to take the lead, get hot, 36ers have an answer. Adams stepped inside. Couldn't thread the eye of the needle. He's also Adam. gone down there just at the end of that play. I'll see if he can get back into there. He's, he's limping a bit in the top of your screen. Just got caught on top with us after that play. Daniel Johnson. And offensive oh, foul. Okay, he hooked him. That might be the only way to really slow down Jalen Adams. Right now, well, it's just tying tiny shoe up. Hopefully it was just a bit of a stinger. 
Sakis, all right. Right, just go on. Tight the shoe or get an extra tape. So it's just right there, just a little tiny bit stepping on top with his foot. Inadvertently, not a whole lot in it. So hopefully he just gets either taped up or... This is the Adelaide 36ers. The main man for the Kings is down. He's out for a little bit. It's your time to capitalise. Silovic with a teardrop that goes. Tough basket. But we know he can score in bunches. <laughs> Crowd screaming. Flop, no. Johnson inside. Draws the foul. He will go to the line for a couple. Every time the Kings draw a level, the 36ers respond. This is better from Daniel Johnson. Again, knocks down a couple threes. And normally, this is Silvich putting his head down. But normally, Daniel Johnson is knocked down from outside. He's only shooting 26% from three this season. So you can afford it. No. Time. So just take a little bit of a step off until he knocks down a, a few. Well, he's two at four today. So Xavier Cooks takes a step closer. Daniel Johnson made a career out of getting to the free throw line. One of the all-time greats, Daniel Johnson, 12th season with the 36ers. More points, more rebounds than any other active NBL player. Being a little down with his numbers at home overall, but he's got some pretty tough numbers to live up to. He's put together over his career. Could be the difference maker in this again. Sean Bruce gave it up. Vasilovic having a huge impact. I mean, especially he scored the last two buckets. But right now it's critical because Jalen Adams is out. So to keep that scoreboard ticking over from the guard position, he's able to facilitate and handle that. Sada on the floor. Sunday Ditch. Big rebound, pull down, got his own ball back and can't finish it. Had a couple of chances, still a 36ers ball. Courtside, John Casey. Thanks, Dwayne. Yes, I'm here with Jalen Adams. He's just having his left ankle re-strapped. He gave me the thumbs up. He intends to check back into the game. But, uh, yeah, just taking the wind out of his sails. But they're going to re-strap it. And they'll get him back out there as soon as they can. Here it was again, just a little bit. As he went to take off on Todd Withers' foot, I think Todd Withers making sure it's okay. The athlete knows that just a little bit stepping on the wrong part of someone else's foot. That feels nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just nice. A little tighter taping. He should be good to go. Haven't yet been able to make hay while the sun's shining for them with Adams off the floor. Leads all scorers. Ian Clark out there now again. Clark's got it now. He's got a deep bag of tricks as well. Hands it up. Travel the screen. Soto a chance for the rebound. Couldn't pull it down. And it does come off the hand of Clark. And he's hobbling down. He had an ankle issue as well. He was talking about, so we'll see if he's okay. Another just little stinger there from Clark. Oh, mm. little hyper extension. Sunday Ditch. To give the 36ers back the lead. McCarran. Soto. Single figure shot clock. McCarran. Up fake. Danced in, handed it back out. They need an off balance air ball. Great from defense. Dusty Hannes. Great defense. Even better closeout. Mark Clark. Kings get another chance to take the lead. I'd like to see right now. Kings. Go to Martin. They gotta find a way to get him going. Jalen Lamb's back in the game, so we're talking about the pick and roll. And I know the rest of the season. Can they do something with both Martin and Adams together? They can't open up the floor. The half field execution the last few possessions has been alright. Adams weaving his magic, hands it over. Sean Bruce can't fill it. Daniel Johnson. What's Dusty Hannes? Finds Dusty Hannes, who finds the bucket. Good work from Dusty Hannes. Clark tried to blow it up, so just stay with it. Back door was there. Good pass from Daniel Johnson. Adams, that little up fake. Oh, oh, play the hammer now. Good oh, hand, Cooks. Just having one hit. That is how you finish a play. Holy. Oh, my goodness. That is just straight verts. Look at this. 
just one step and bang. Oh, 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 my goodness. Holy. He's coming. It's no joke. Oh, no, not, absolutely not. And that's going to feel oh good as well. God. On the free throw line, he'll probably, he'll probably take that one more than the dunk at this rate. Four and nine from the free throw line, but that is straight vert. 17 points. Five rebounds. And they lead now, the Kings, 60 to 59. Hannah's up for you, draws the foul. Jumped into by Adams. Clever from Dusty. Well, Sadie Cook's going from strength to strength. And I tell you what, Sydney Kings fan, if this team doesn't get you excited for the rest of the season, oh, man. make sure you catch Xavier Cooks while he's here. He's going to get an opportunity somewhere else, you think. Whether it's Summer League or whatever, a lot of teams are high on him. Holy. Doing a little research. Oh, here we go. D Russ? Yep. This is what I found out. Look forward to this. The remaining games for the Sydney Kings. Kansas at home, 36 is at home, Hawks at home. Away, 36 is twice. One of them is right now. Kansas twice. New Zealand, Tasmania. Illawarra, Perth, Southeast Melbourne, Phoenix. This team will have a chance to finish first place. Mm. Did you just hear the run that I had? Did I say? It's only two teams that they face in the top four. Well, that's exactly right. They run home. I hope you're licking their lips. Don't have to play Melbourne United at all. Play the Wildcats just once. And you play Cairns and Adelaide three times each. Right now, Adelaide's giving them a big battle. Soto, tough. Bucket for the big guy and never got anywhere near it. Clark. Pulls up for the three. Big signal of things to come from Ian Clark. Not only a soft run home, as Corey Homicide Williams told you, but essentially compiled a pretty damn good roster right now. Floater off the glass, just as good at the other end for Dusty Hannis. Dusty Hannis up to 14 in 10 minutes, 5 of 10 from the field. This is the smallest lineup you might ever see. Drell Martin out there with really four other guards. Got away from Soto as well. It's a good find. They need to get him going offensively. Down this end. Get Daniel Johnson the ball on the block. Got Angus Glover on him. Oh, Soto. Soto didn't even look on. Thought Dusty Hannes was as tall as him. Glover was fronting Daniel Johnson. And Daniel Johnson was doing well to hold his position. You just got to have a look at the hoop. And CJ Bruton saying the same. Just throw it up to Daniel Johnson there. They were ultra small. DJ, I look happy having a sit down, getting some rest. Big three minutes coming in the context of the season for both these teams. Kings looking for their fifth win in a row. Glover says it rattle away. Bears to another rebound. McCarran, Dusty Hannes. Spins on Clark. Had to give it back out, and McCarran saved the day. With us. Bears go. Hacked. Ball finds the right man. He puts pressure on the defense a little bit too much. Yeah. Can't speak highly enough of Cam Besto all season. Adelaide 36 just took a chance on it. You know, he has had his injury issues. And again, you can kind of see at times when he starts rolling, he still needs to come out for a quick breather here or there. Gives 110% every single possession on the roof, on the glass. There he is again, just trying to put himself in the rebounding contest. Cooks quickly down the floor. Back out to Glover. Ian Clark. Sizing it up. Sees McCarran. Gets to the top and can't drop it. Besto again. Lost the handle. Vasilovic. Up fake. Cooks under the bucket. Started to weave his magic. Cooks with his energy. Giving Besto a taste of his medicine. Crashing the old boards. Keeping that ball alive. Sunday ditch. Crept away. Got the go. It's fine. It's just a good battle. All game. Not disappointed. Adams gave it some thought. Glover, great time. The seas went past Withers in a blink of an eye. That's what Adelaide 36 is on the defensive end where they're playing with this lineup. They're trying to switch everything one through four, except for Cam Bairstow and Xavier Cooks. 
really good range. The hits that old man. I wouldn't expect anything else. This matchup is living up to the hype. At four position, Bearstow and Cooks going at it. Like two completely different operators, too. That's great defense, Cam Bearstow. Just closing the gap. And he do it again. Adams. Take two on that battle. Bearstow in his grill. Forced an errant shot. And it's a 36ers ball. Or is it? It's an excellent one-on-one -on -one defense from Cam Bearstow. And made Adams give up the first one. And they threw it back to him. And you'd be thinking, man, going to do it again for another seven it. seconds. But contested three ball. You live with that. Two for one if they get it off shot quickly. Annis sized it up. Stepped inside through the foul. And he'll go to the line. With 30 seconds left in this third. Annis. Real crafty with the ball. Yeah, boys, one up, please. Gets his defender off balance. Read some contact and he goes to the line. Hasn't hit any from downtown. Doing the majority of all of his damage so far. Okay, the one man, there's a couple in the league who you probably can't put a commentator's curse on a free throw line because he's holds the record in college. Automatic. He's got that great touch at the free throw line. Right now, you can just think well, that can just translate. Knocked out a couple threes. He's been really good today. 16 points. Made some things happen. Really good today. This is his best game so far. Had 19 points off the bench in the overtime win against Melbourne United a week or so ago. He's had a couple of good games. But again, Kings threatened to take the lead and jump away. And again, we're all tied up. Shot clock, game clock differential. You can see 36ers will probably get it back. In comes Adams. He was stripped, and it's still a king's ball, but five left on the shot clock early. That's the play we spoke about in the first half. They want Dusty Hannes to switch on to Jalen Adams. It's a good piece of that ball. CJ Bruton barking the instructions. Vasilovic, tough fadeaway three. Bairstow, another rebound. Last say of the quarter for the 36ers. McCarran time. And the captain looks at the crowd and says, come with me, boys. 71-69. They've jumped back out to a two-point lead. They lead by two at quarter time. Two at half time. They lead by two again now with a quarter to play.
Kings have owned the month of January. They've owned this month when it comes to the win loss as well. Looking for a fifth win in a row. But the Adelaide 36 is at home at the Adelaide Entertainment Centre. Looking to stop that and stop Xavier Cooks from doing that. 71 to 69. Two point lead. Quarter to play. Season on the line. Adelaide have led every quarter by two, by two points. It's been by committee, though. It's what Adelaide 36 have done well. Everybody getting involved. Turnover there from Nick Marshall into the game. Adams foul. So they've got Dufel Meyer and Nick Marshall in the game, the 36ers, to give a couple of guys some rest and get them in, but an early turnover won't please CJ Bruton. It's Jalen Adams to go to the free throw line. And we'll talk about overall, they're leading the rebound count 30 to 20. So 16 assists. Just doing it by committee. Best on 15 points, Johnson 13 points, Adams has played really well. Todd Willis got 11 points. Defensively, overall, they've been really solid. The only thing they haven't done a really good job on is Jalen Adams, which not a lot of teams have done a good job on. So, trying to live with something else. Second one rims out. Find themselves in a really good position. Do for my. The big moments here. In the context of this game, Do for my. Stepped it in, took it back out. Jalen Adams in his grill. Rebound, Besto was there, and he still caused the tip to be an Adelaide 36ers ball. Just his presence hanging around. Cam Besto, just it's a magnet. That ball's coming now somewhere near him. At some point, you got to face guard him because whatever you're doing ain't stopping him. Dufel Meyer rims out, might get it back here, McCarran. Saves it. Third chance for the 36ers. McCarran finished the third in style. Sunday Ditch. That looked beautiful all the way home. Second and third chance opportunities. Adelaide find a way to cash in on that one. Plug of the bullet. Adams. Well, again, call out a little Spanish action, but what it was was all diversion. Jalen Adams was setting the back screen on Xavier Cooks just to try and cause a switch. And here's that knockdown from Sunday Detch. And then Jalen Adams was in the ball screen. As soon as he feels that little bump from Nick Marshall behind, Marshall, that's tough cover. You come in for your first couple of minutes. You're on Jalen Adams, and he puts you in that ball screen. Jalen Adams got to float that up. Did you feel that bump? Throw it towards the hoop, go to the free throw line. Swakula so Bullock in the corner, gave it some thought. Cooks steps in, throws it back out. Big rebound, Sunday Detch. Well, he wanted to take on three. Pocket picked. Back to Jalen Adams. Besto stares him down. Feed was delightful. On the floor, though, the bucket won't count. Through Besto's legs. Well, we might have a little triple double watch here. Eight and a half minutes left in the game. Mitch McCarron, seven points, seven rebounds, seven assists, zero turnovers. So, again, plenty of time to get there. Not putting a whole lot of points on the board, but just trying to create things on the offensive end. Adams with the inbound. Vasilovic. From outside, Jerome Martin. Two for Meyer. Chance for the 36ers to extend their lead. Two for Meyer to Besto. He's been the hot man. Can't find it this time. It's like a little bullet. Vasilovic fills it. Well, that hurts because, again, they had the mismatch down low with Daniel Johnson. The spacing was just horrendous for the Adelaide 36ers. Just take your time. Everybody get out and put Daniel Johnson on the block against the smaller Angus Glover and just see what happens. Here we go. They get to it. They're a call. Great job by Sydney. Pushing the ball. Finding an open shooter. No one closes him out. Bucket. 
Too good of a shooter to not find him. And on the mismatch right here, they find DJ. Now I'm supposed to be looking forward to work that mismatch the whole game. Every time there's a mismatch. Well, it's, it's there again, so you don't have to try and force it in, maybe get something side to side, but ultimately you want to get the ball to Daniel Johnson because they're going to have to double the net through something else when he gets down to the block. Dusty Hannes, four left shot clock, Bairstow corner, another wham, bam, Cam Bairstow from the corner. Inconsistent all year for them. Or you could just give it to Cam Bairstow right now. All the answers are 36ers. All afternoon. And rejected by Willis. The defense, he's been there all game for them. On the defensive end as well. Contesting some tough shots. His kick out and Bairstow delivers. With his right there, showing emotion. They know they need this one. And Bairstow is a plus 22. In his 23 minutes played. Oh, oh, turnover, McCarron. He read out of his mind. Hannes. Sean Bruce wearing him. Best over. Heat check. Could have been on offer. Withers, who's been hot from the top. Daniel Johnson, the rebound with Glover. They both fight for it. Jump ball, possession error. Tired. Speaking of tight, this is where normally we might see Cam Besto get a couple of minutes breather. Six and a half minutes left of this game. I think it's clever. Daniel Johnson, good scrap for that ball. But he's been on the floor. He now scored the Kings by 22 points. With that said, rest on offense. Well, you'd have to. You take them out the game right now I'm with those numbers. I'm with you, but we'll see what happens. Adams will step back two will do this time. Wow. Big arc on it. And it was pretty to watch. Eight of 13 from the field. 23 points. McCarran. Dusty Hannes. A little bit of room to move. And puts in the bucket and will get the extra. Dusty Hannes rising near the occasion. CJ Bruton yelling wide Olay, which is their Spanish action as well. So the back screen came and you had Dusty Hannes pop back. Hand in the cookie jar. Good patience from Dusty Hannes there. Nothing came, no forcing over the help. Let them both get in the air and then the hands came across. So the Spanish action that we harp on about, every team likes to use it. So it's a little ball screen with the big. So Mitch McCarron of that, and then Dusty Hannes is back screening for the big, which was Cam Bairstow, either to get him on the rim or Dusty Hannes popping back, which they did just there. Hannes is up to 19, playing the best game of the season so far. Archer back out to five. Jalen Adams. But the Jalen Adams show has to give it away to Sean Bruce. Back to Adams. Up fake from way outside. Too late. Good team defense. That's really good. Yeah, I'd like 36 is expected. Chase Buford's going to make a couple changes. 36 is led by eight in the first quarter. Hannes. And rejected. Cooks swiped it away. Swakala Bulek hands it out. Bruce. Paul Net. What a reply. It's great defense by Cooks, which starts their transition and good find again. Well, not a defender in sight. He knocks that down. Good read from Xavier Cooks because if Dusty Hannes turns his head, and Cooks comes across the hell. Daniel Johnson's wide open. So he had to get a piece of it, and he did. Hannah's long range two. They don't get the rebound. Had a possession moments ago to punch the lead out to eight. Cooks in the spin move. Can't finish. Does finish in the end. Second effort. Superb. And they're back in town again, the Kings. 80 plays, 80. 447 left. Big 447 to come. Who wins it from here? 
I'm going to tip Sydney. Here's why. At some point, the legs and fatigue are going to start to kick in. Adelaide have played a game not even 40 hours ago. Yeah. It's going to, oh, it's going to come down to really Cam Best, though. That's the one. I mean, you see him there on the right just trying to gather his breath. That's the crucial point. He's not a man who can play the 35 minutes anymore. He's going to have to do that. They cannot afford to sit that man down. <laughs> Jalen Adams reaching to the clock. They, they have no answer for that pick and roll yet. Man, when Cook's playing defense like that, just getting blocked, getting rebounds, and pushing it, he's creating plays by himself. Adia Peace, 4.47 left. Had to have Latrobe Financial on board again. They've got the sharp shot up for grabs. If you think you can shoot the full court shot at an NBL game, head to the NBL website, win page, so we have your chance to shoot for $100,000. That Latrobe Financial sharp shot. And you get a second chance from halfway if you can't land the full court shot as McCarran puts that one up. You get a chance from halfway for $50,000. Xavier yeah, Cooks earlier on in this game. Almost landed one from halfway. Front. A lot of big hit. For a guy that's coming to the league, known for being just an humble defender, the way he's flourished from the land of plenty in the recent years, it's been a beautiful thing to see. 36ers. Three minutes left. And this would be an epic win if they're able to get it. Rejuvenate this season. Daniel Johnson fade away too. And no best there for the rebound. Big rebound by Cooks. Adams slipped to the corner. Monster. Monster drop from Sean Bruce. Two for a dollar. Two. Two for a dollar. Sean Bruce. Even when it looks like Martin was about to, Adams was about to fall, he still finds a way to make a big play. Oh, can he answer back, Dusty? Man, what a Dusty Adams straight back at you. He's been terrific tonight. The great man sent to him before the game. <laughs> CJ Bruce, I'm going to start drinking. Great man on the road. Talk to him before every game. And it was a big chat kick call. Mitch McCarran thought. He picked the pocket there. Rice right, smile. Finds a way to find an open man in the corner. That's what they're trying to do down the other end is the guard to guard and the miscommunication. Someone's got to stay locked into Dusty Hannes. As soon as there's connection on the defense end, that's when you switch. You can't just be talking about it and try and jump it because good shooters will step behind and knock it down. And that's his first three pointer hit from the night. But this man right here, oh my goodness. What hasn't he done tonight? Takes it off the dribble, nice floater in traffic. Over DJ, but this is where he makes his money. In transition, he's able to grab it off the rebound and just, he's a one-man fast break. And that half-court shot was a, a shot to end the half. Nothing but net. And one in this play right here, which is disrespectful. Oh, it's been unreal. David Cooks, that's what I said. Enjoy him while he's here. He's going to get an opportunity over in the States. You would assume so. Get that matchup. Both been balling out tonight. Indeed, they have. One's very fundamental, one's very athletic, and they're both fun to watch. It's a good side to Adelaide Royalty with basketball royalty. Thanks, Dwayne. Now, yeah, I've got Luke Longley here with me. Luke, I know you wanted to give a shout out to Nathan Sobey. His Olympic bronze medal stolen during a home break in overnight. Yeah, mate, we just uh, feel for him. You know, he worked so hard with that, and it's not worth anything. Bronze means everything is soap. So, you still got your medal, mate, even if you don't have your medal. Tight one finishing here. Can the Kings get across the line? Of course we can. <laughs> Good on you, mate. Cheers, mate. <laughs> well, it is, uh, there it is. A great man who had the couple of words. He's taking the jacket off. Oh, told you. That jacket's gone and dusty. I'm telling you. But, yeah, that's a really horrible story. Nathan Sobey. That's getting broken into and stealing the Olympic medal. So, hopefully, Sweden does his thing. Oh, my. Cooks, as the shot clock expired, jams another. Two minutes left. Kings. Back in front. Assist number six, Jalen Adams. 
Come on, reach hard left. It's a career high for Xavier Cooks, 25 points. Could have had, you could be on 30, missed him five free throws. I'm going to wait to see what you're going to go with. Will, will he be part of that Olympic team? A lot of good players in that position, but he's putting his name up there. Oof. And that's called against the 36ers, so 148 left. Kings in front. They've met every challenge of 36ers. Can't let a slip now. That Cooks is killing that offensive killer, Ken, this is a veteran move. You use your backside. Oh, it was standing still, though. But we so often see that call now, trying to use your backside to really set the screen. Adams hands it off. Clark! Wow. That's his class. Deep bag of tricks. Bang! Four-point lead over to you, Adelaide. Biggest margin the Kings have had. Good time to have it. Daniel Johnson to one. Beautiful tough take by DJ. Edge of the seat stuff. 36 C's on the line. Spread the top four up for the Kings. Jalen Adams has been epic. Back to Clark from way outside air ball. Can't bear still again. They switch. It's caught on Jalen Adams and just uses his body on the play. Missed that pass. Clark, big knockdown. He enjoyed that one. But Ken Bairstow, he has been enormous in the big moments. If you're a Jalen Adams, you'd love to have a bigger guy switch onto you. Couldn't get around him. Sunday Ditch inside the last minute for the lead back. Dusty Hannes, part of the seas. And the flutter in. Dusty Springhill again. Wish out the hope on his way to the bucket. Fantastic take. As you can see how he hesitated. Throws the defense. And the screen. Adelaide 36 is called. Called against Terrell Martin. Wow. Huge call. That's four fouls on Terrell Martin. Dusty Addis. Sees just parted. Looks a little layup down the lane. And right here, offensive foul. Just moving into a little bit with the left leg. The fly. Just trying to get nice and wide. But as he was trying to get that base. To take the lead. You can see the shot clock going, clock differential. Dusty Hannah, the up fight. No one was able to bite, and it's still a 36ers ball. It was great one on one defense by Jalen Adams. Sorry, by Clark. Getting a hand on the ball. And they can come up with it. Adelaide ball. 11 seconds on the shot clock. I'm going to Dusty. Better go to Dusty. Try and get him something. And Cam Bairstow, this is the possession right now. He's a one-on-one -on -one player, whatever it is. Somebody has to get a body on Cam Bairstow from the Sydney Kings. We're going to have a look at this just to make sure. 25 seconds left on the clock. So I'm sure this definitely was Adelaide ball. Big call. Got to get it right. Yeah, best though. 18 points, 8 rebounds, only one offensive rebound. The amount of times that he's causing extra possession for it to fall into somebody else's hand has been huge. It's been a real committee effort from the Adelaide 36ers. Five right, guys, double figures. 40% from three. Eight, 16 and 19 from the free throw line. It's their main five. These are the guys that need to show up. Good to see them all show up collectively this afternoon. So still a 36ers ball. It comes down to this. A 25-second game. 90 apiece. 36 is a chance to take the lead. Dusty Hannes has been the man. Tough fade away too. Rebound massive. The Kings, the shot clock's turned off. The Kings can win it with this possession. Take the last shot. Worst case, you go to overtime. Don't give the Adelaide 36 a chance. Long that plane up. We are out of here. Adams. Is he the man? Step back three. A heartbreaker. Long that plane up. We are out of here. 3.5 left, though. Hang on, Hang on a sec. Hang on a sec. Didn't he? Give him enough time here. They get the time out, but Jalen Adams... Couldn't get past Cam Besto the other two times. Doesn't need to. This one just knocks it down from ultra deep. He is legit. Oh, 
Man. Best player. No, just no. Oh, you just kidding. Just warming you up. Hold on, Peter. Hold on. I'm just playing with you. <laughs> well, I've heard you say that a couple times. Here they go. The Outlay 36s. Now, CJ Bruton. You're wondering what he's going to try and go with here. Dustin Hannes has been outstanding, but Sydney Kings are going to be assuming that as well. So, unless you can get him really wide open, don't be surprised if they can try and use him in a bit of a misdirection, a diversion. And see if you can get maybe Daniel Johnson, who's knocked down too. Or even Sunday Detch. He's three of seven. Brett Mars thinking, put the ball in Sunday Detch hands. <laughs> I'm the one who's been helping him shoot the lights out. This is a big possession. Dusty Hannes was the man in that game against Melbourne United in overtime. Hit that big one in the corner. Change of the seat stuff now. Season's on the line for the 36ers. They led by two at quarter time, by two at half time, by two at three quarter time. At one stage, they led by eight. And the Sydney Kings threatening to steal it from them and make it five wins in a row for the Kings. The home team with 3.5 seconds left to take it into overtime. There you go. They're going to take another time out here. 36ers. Yeah, Bruton maybe just trying to see who the Sydney King is going to roll out there. Try and see where the best opportunity is. Draw something else up. So who's it going to, Corey? Is he Dusty Hannes? Are you going to live with it? Or are you trying to use it as maybe a diversion? They've got plenty of guys out there who can knock it down. You got it, Dusty. In fact, every single player who's on the floor right now for the Sixers has knocked down a three tonight. But Dusty Hannes, he's been awesome. 24 points, 8 of 16, and let the game come to him. Didn't try and force too much. Got the three assists, but again, was really patient. 24 points in 21 minutes. This is the Dusty Hannes, all the outlay 30 switches fans wanted to see. Every basket, they've, they've been tough. No easy looks. Finishing in traffic in so many different ways. He's only in one three tonight, that three late in the ball game, but I've been on him hard all season. Asking him to step up, be consistent, and tonight, this afternoon, he has been that, as you see, the Soda Stream shot shot. Here we go. Who's it going to? Watch Sunday Dance potentially getting it back in from the inbounds. Three and a half seconds, a lot of time. Three-pointer to tie it up and take it to overtime. DJ. Oh, Tough yeah. step back three. Wow, a heartbreaker for the 36ers, and it might have been a two anyway. Well, it definitely looked like it was going to be a two, and you know, as I thought, they were looking for Sunday Dets just on the quick one-two, but got nothing out of it. Big win for the Kings, though. Five wins in a row up the third spot on the Hungry Jacks NBL ladder and a force to be reckoned with. I'll tell you what, we've been talking about Bryce Cotton, Joe Luan Chul, MVP. Jalen Adams is going to have a big say in that conversation as well. Right here, just took a little too long to get into it. In the end, it might have been touch and go if he did make it as being a three. You, you put yourself in this little corner. There's not a lot of space to work with. I would have liked to see something at the top of the key to try and open up the Kings' defense. In the end, they get a really important win. Yeah, Besto was excellent. Xavier so Cooks was outstanding. Jalen Adams was enormous. John Casey courtside. Thanks very much. I've got Xavier Cooks here. Wow, that was a great game. They gave you all you could handle. Oh, my God, that was a dog fight. Them boys are physical. They play the right way, and um, we're lucky to come up the win tonight. Jalen Adams came up bigger game, but, you know, you went with a small ball team, and that put a lot of pressure on you. You had to produce as well. Yeah, but, man, Jalen's that guy, so we can trust him for everything, but it wasn't just me. Angus Glover rebounded great. The whole guards were swooping in there. There's a whole team effort tonight. You want to talk us through the uh, the dunk down this end? Just straight up and throw it down. Oh, man, it's dunk so I try to give back to charity, you know. So, uh, yeah, just do what I do. And bigger picture, five in the row now for the Kings. You're really rolling. You can go all the way? I believe so, for sure. But uh, we've got to keep taking care of on the road. We've got a lot of road games coming up, and take care of that, we'll be all right. Really enjoyed your game today. Congratulations. Thanks, well done. Guys, I really appreciate it. That's our full locker part of the game. He was outstanding. I'll tell you what, Corey. This guy He's belongs. Now. This guy belongs on the, on the boomers. All that, man. After, after this game, seeing this, the way he went about it, how he dominated, I am a super fan. Well, I'm a believer as well, but I think he's got bigger things in store as well over in America. He is just outstanding. Just going to work on his shot a little bit more. He's awesome. Game one of our doubleheader, a thriller. Cairns and Melbourne United to come in our Sunday double. But the Kings, five wins in a row with a three-point win over the 36ers.